This is the sixth session of Decision Tree. In the last video, we looked at the outline of CART and looked at how to handle categorical features. We discussed how to handle ordinal and nominal data, label encoding, and one-hot encoding methods. In this video, we will look at how to find the optimal split point using information gain and how to create an optimal tree using this point. And we will also take a look at how to find the best among multiple candidate split points for continuous numerical data. This time, let's use the information gain to find the best split point. Information gain is calculated using entropy or the Gini index. The calculation of information gain is the same as an ID3. The data to be used is part of the Titanic dataset. There are two features, PC class and sex, and one target class survived. This data is shown in this figure. This is the root node. The PC last feature has one, two, and three. And the sex feature has female and male. There are three ways to split this node for the CART algorithm. The first is to split here. And the second is to split here. And the third way is to split it here. As such, there are three candidates for splitting the root node. Our goal is to find the most efficient splitting point among these candidates. If we find the one with the largest information gain among the three candidates, this is the best split point. To calculate the information gain, we first calculate the Gini index of the root node. The Gini index calculation is the same as seen in ID3. There are a total of 18 pieces of data in the root node and 8 blues. And there are 10 reds. Therefore, the Gini index of the root node is 0 0.494. This time, we will calculate the Gini index and information gain for each split candidate. The first candidate is this point. Data points with PC last less than 1.5 are in this area. There are six pieces of data in this area, four blues, and two reds. So the Gini index is 0.444. Data points with PC last greater than 1.5 are in this area. There are a total of 12 data points in this area, four in blue and eight in red. So in this case, the Gini index also comes out as 0.444. This time, I will calculate the information gain. The Gini index of the root node is 0 0.494. If we subtract the weighted average of the Gini index calculated above from there, that is the information gain. Next, let's calculate the information gain for the second split candidate. The second candidate is the point where PC last is 2.5. Data points with PC last less than 2.5 fall into this area. And when calculated using the above method, the Gini index is 0 0.496. Data points with PC last greater than 2.5 are in this region. And the Gini index is 0.408. And if you calculate the information gain, you can see that it's 0 0.032. Lastly, let's calculate the information gain for the third candidate. 
data points with a sex feature less than 0.5 are in this area. There are a total of 11 pieces of data in this area, 4 blues and 7 reds. So the Gini index is 0.463. Data points with sex feature greater than 0.5 are in this area. The Gini index in this area is 0.490. And the information gain is 0.021. Then we can see that the first candidate has the greatest information gain among these three. It is best to split this root node using this point. This point is called best split point. Now let's create the following tree. Using the best split point found on the previous page. The point where PC last is 1.5 is the best split point. Data points with PC last less than 1.5 are assigned to the left node, Data points with PC LAS greater than 1.5 are assigned to the right node. The data in the left node has only one split candidate. So this is the best split point. Therefore, in this node, data points with sex less than 0.5 are assigned to the left node and data points with sex greater than 0.5 are assigned to the right node. And here are the data points where the PC LAS is greater than 1.5. This node has two split candidates. We need to find the best one of these. To calculate the information gain, we first calculate the Gini index of this node. This node has a total of 12 pieces of data, four blues, and eight reds. So the Gini index is 0.444. First, let's calculate the Gini index and information gain for the first candidate. There are a total of five data points with a PC LAS of less than 2.5, two in blue, and three in red. Therefore, the Gini index is 0 0.480. And the Gini index for data points with PC LAS greater than 2.5 is 0 0.408. Then the information gain for the first candidate is 0 0.056. Next, let's calculate the information gain for the second candidate. The Gini index for data points with sex less than 0.5 is 0 0.278. And the Gini index for data points with sex greater than 0 0.5 is 0 0.500. Then the information gain for the second candidate comes with 0 0.105. Of these two, this is bigger. Therefore, the best split point of this node is here. Since the best split point of node T is this point, data points with sex less than 0.5 are assigned to the left node, and data points with sex greater than 0.5 are assigned to the right node. Then, the data in the left node and the data in the right node each have one split point candidate. So this is the best split point. So the child nodes are divided into PC last 2.5. Among the data in the left node, Data points with a PC LAS of less than 2.5 is assigned to the left node. 
and data points with a PC LAS of greater than 2.5 is assigned to the right node. Among the data points with sex greater than 0.5, data points with PC LAS less than 2.5 are assigned to the left node. And data points with PC LAS greater than 2.5 are assigned to the right node. This tree is now complete like this. Once the tree is complete using the training data, we can use it to estimate the classes of the test data. Given such test data, let's estimate the target class for this test data point. Let's input this data point into the tree on the left. Since PC LAS is 3, go to the right here, And if sex is female, it is 1. So here we go to the right again. And PC LAS is 3, so we go to the right again. Therefore, this test data point belongs to the last leaf node. The target class of this test data point is estimated to be 0. Because there are a lot of red, Since 3 out of 4 are reds, this estimate is about 75% accurate. In this example, only a part of the Titanic dataset was used. So PC LAS was used as the first split condition. However, if you use the full Titanic dataset, sex will be the first split condition. This time, we will look at how to find the optimal split point for numerical data. Added age feature to the previous data. The age feature consists of all numeric data. First, all duplicate data of the age feature is removed and sorted in ascending order. The midpoints of each piece of data then become candidates for the splitting point. For example, if you use this candidate as a split point, we can split it into the left node and the right node like this. Second, we use the average to calculate the midpoint of each data point. This point is the first candidate for the split point. In this way, we find all the midpoints of all data, data points. These are all split point candidates. Next, we split the node into all of these candidates and find the candidate with the largest information gain. For example, if this candidate has the greatest information gain, we use it to split the node. Data points with age less than 24.5 in the data on the left are assigned to the left node. And data points with age greater than 24.5 are assigned to the right node. When calculating the Gini index of the root node before splitting, it is 0.494. After splitting, data points with age less than 24.5 are in the left node. This node has a total of six pieces of data, one blue and five reds. And the Gini index is 0.28. Data points with an age greater than 24.5 are this data, and the Gini index is 0.486. Therefore, this candidate's information gain is 0 0.077. And the information gains of the three candidates calculated on the previous page are as follows. Since the information gain of age is greater than the all candidates on the left, this condition is the best split point.
By the way, you can see that there are so many candidates here. CART takes a long time because it has to calculate the information gain for all these candidates. Therefore, having large amounts of data can cause problems. If you have a lot of data, you can use quantile or histogram-based methods to reduce the number of candidates. However, these methods allow you to find approximate split points rather than optimal split points. You can also use parallel processing to speed up finding the best split point. We'll look at this in more detail later when we discuss XGBoost and LightGBM for processing large amounts of data. So far, we have discussed how to use information gain to find optimal split points and generate optimal tree. And we also discussed how to find the best split point for numerical data. In the following video, we'll write code that creates cart tree using these methods. Then we'll apply this code to classification. We'll create binary trees directly through recursion and perform the classification and use scikit-learn to do the same thing, and we'll compare the two results.